Hello everybody, I'm out here with Teddy, our seven month old doodle. This is actually my first time taking him out on a walk. Josh has done all the work prior. We are not holding onto a leash. I do have the long line dragging. He was such an extreme flight risk that I wasn't quite ready to not have the long line dragging. Word of advice to any owner, if you're unsure at all about your dog's recall skills, or if they have a tendency to panic, fireworks, thunderstorms, motorcycles, have a leash on. Just another layer of safety. Teddy tried to run away, oh gosh, probably at least 10 times in the first week. The threshold, um, the recall, he would literally run the other way. Um, none of those worked for him. So not only does he not run away anymore, he actually recalls to us when we call him. So the behaviors that he was trying before no longer serve him. And so what does work for him is actually just listening. Okay, and that's still a new skill for him. He literally did not know how to listen coming here. All right, what we're doing now is the walk in heel. Uh, previously, it was a lot of pulling. I was about to click my toe in there, but he fixed himself. A lot of pulling, a lot of chaos, and now we've taught him a new way. Oh, and look, here comes the mailman. Stay. Good boy. Puts himself into it down. Another word of advice is stepping on the leash if there's any sort of distraction and you do want that extra layer of safety. You think your dog might startle. You think your dog might run towards the distraction or if you even think your dog might run away from the distraction. Stepping on the leash will give you that extra layer of security. So this is a really practical use of the training, um, putting him in a stay as the mail truck drives by and let him watch that go by instead of reacting to it. Reacting could be running towards it, barking, startling and running away from it. And then we watch it drive off and we continue. And this will give me an opportunity to show you how I get him in heel. We're gonna say the word heel, which is the command for let's walk together. I'm also gonna tap the tone. Heel, tap the tone. And we've trained him, well Josh has trained him, to have his head next to our left knee. If you're looking down at him on the walk, there's an imaginary circle right here that his head should stay in. If his head leaves this circle, that's when your e-collar is gonna turn on. This is why you can walk him without holding on to a tight leash, is because it's all on the e-collar. So if he's going too far forward, stem, the black S button. If he's going too far to the left, too far back, or behind your legs, tone. Those are the only two things you'll use. He will follow your pace and your direction because he's the one listening to you now. He's not directing the walk, you are. So he's just following you. Doing amazing. If I stop, he stops. Good boy. Stay. I can tell him stay and that means stay where you are, obviously. He can put himself in a down, no, stay. So I said no, I clicked the collar and I repeated the command stay. This is how you're gonna keep these stay commands strong. You're gonna give the command, assume they're gonna break the command, be ready to correct, down. I think he thought I said break, but I need him to know the difference between me talking in a sentence and me talking directly to him. So this is good, again, new, at listening. Imagine you go seven months your whole life never having to listen, ignoring humans and doing what you want, and then all of a sudden you're expected to listen. It takes practice. So again, how you keep your stay strong is by giving the command and then producing a distraction or a trigger. It could just mean walking away, assuming the dog's going to make a mistake, correcting and then putting them back and then repeating the same trigger. This is what's gonna allow him to be included more in his family's life. Because if he's unmanageable, they can't do much with him. If they can control his movement, he can go more places with them, okay? Good job, Ted. So right now he's wondering like, am I doing the right thing? What am I supposed to be doing? So I'm gonna reassure him. Good boy. Good. Let's try a recall here. Recall is just getting him from point A to point B and your point B from wherever he is. Again, I can't stress enough how much of a flight risk this dog was. He literally tried to drag, well, he did drag Josh down that hill 
on his butt. He was trying to run away so hard. Um, and he did that a couple times until he was like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna run away. It's not working for me. What do you want me to do? Um, and then we can teach from there. So the verbal is gonna be C-O-M-E paired with the tone button here. And then we're gonna praise as he's on his way. Teddy, come. Good boy. Nice work. He comes right in front and sits or downs at our feet. Okay, that's the recall. Good, and we can even give him a little pet. Okay, from here, we can go back into our walk. We can leave him in the stay, or we could release him for some free time. Ted, break. Good job. So now he's in break. He doesn't have to heal. He's off leash. He can go potty. He can sniff. But what he can't do is run away, start barking, start eating something gross off the ground. Those are all things that you can correct with the e-collar, even though he's not in a command. He's probably going to put himself in command, and that's fine. Another thing we've been working on is the threshold. So every door is an opportunity to ask for polite behavior. When I open this, I don't want him to just rush in. I want him to actually wait for permission to go through. And this goes for entering and exiting. Good. Good, it's because we've worked on it. Break, let's go. That's how it looks. Okay, what we're gonna do when we come in from the walk is not leave him freely roaming, but we're gonna put him on his place bed. And if he doesn't get on automatically, we can point to it and say place. He's gonna automatically lay down. If he doesn't, we can tell him down. And this is where we leave him for a while. Good boy.